So in this video, we're wanting to solve exponential equations uh, by relating the bases. So we're going to use the common base property, which is listed right here for you. It basically says that if we can write each side of the equation in terms of the same base, which is b in this case, then we can set our exponents equal to each other, and then we can solve. Okay, let's look at example 1. We have 3 raised to the x plus 5 on one side, and then we on the other side we have 1 over 9. Well, we want to try to get the same base. We do know that 9 is 3 squared, so we can rewrite that as 1 over 3 squared. And so we're trying to get the same base. So we do have the 3's, but 1 over 3 is not the same as 3 being in the numerator. So we do want to move our 3 squared up to the numerator. And we can do that by changing the uh, sign of the exponent. So we can change it to the negative 2. So 1 over 3 squared is the same as 3 to the negative 2. And if you notice now, once we do that, we have 3 and 3. So our rule says if we can get the same bases, which we've done here, we have 3 and 3. If we have that, then we can assume from our common base property that we are able to set our exponents equal to each other, and then we can solve for x. So that would be a quick quick solution by subtracting both sides by 5. We get x equals negative 7, and that's our answer. And you can always go back and check by plugging in negative 7 into the original problem and seeing if that works out. Okay, let's look at example 2. We have 16 is one of our bases, and 8 is our other base, and we're trying to get the same bases. Well, 16 is not 8 squared, but we can write both 16 and 8 in terms of 2. We know that 16 is 2 to the 4th, so I'm going to rewrite 16 as 2 to the 4th and just replace it there. Um, and then over in 8, we know that 8 is 2 cubed. So I'm just going to replace, uh, rewrite those numbers in terms of 2 to a power. Okay, so it looks like we do have our same bases now, which is 2, but let's clean it up. Now, we learned back a long time ago, probably, about when you raise a power to a power or an exponent to an exponent, you multiply them. So on this side, we would have 2 to the 4 times 3x, which would give you 12x. And on the other side, we would have 2 cubed all raised to the x squared. You multiply those and get 3x squared. So now we have it in good shape. Um, we have 2 and 2, which are, are the bases that we need right there. Therefore, using our common base property, we can set 12x equal to 3x squared. And this we can solve. Now, since we have an x squared, we do have to treat it. It is a quadratic. So the way we solve quadratics is we bring everything to one side. So I'm going to subtract the 12x to the other side setting it equal to 0, and then let's try to factor. We can factor out into common 3x. That leaves us x minus 4. Setting each uh, factor equal to 0, we get 3x equals 0. That gives us x equals 0. And x minus 4 equal to 0 gives us x equals 4. So we have two possible answers here. Answers here. x equals 4 and x equals 0. Okay, now let's look at a natural exponential equation. Um, we are going to work it the same way, except a natural exponential is one that contains the number e. e is similar to um, the way we think about pi being 3.14. Well, e represents 2.71828. It actually goes a little bit further than that. We're just rounding off. Um, but we treat e just like a regular number. So let's look at our example. We have e to the 2x, and we have 1 over e to the 6, so we want to get the same base. Well, they both have base e, but our goal is we need to bring this e to the 6 to the numerator. So we can do that. We have e to the 2x, and over on the right, if we bring e to the top, we can just change the sign um, of 6, so it'll be e to the negative 6. Now we're in good shape because we have the same bases. Therefore, we can set our powers equal to each other, which is 2x equals negative 6. And that's just an easy equation to solve. We have x equals negative 3. 
Now we can always check if we'd like to, so you can do that by plugging our negative 3 into the original problem. Uh, if we do that, we have e to the 2 times negative 3 equals 1 over e to the 6, uh, which gives us e to the negative 6 equals e of 1 over e to the 6. And you can plug it into your calculator if you want to, or you can just look at it until we know this is the case. Um, because we, we've already discussed the fact that you can bring e to the top and make it e to the negative 6. That proves that these true, that these uh, two sides are equal. So we know that we have checked it and we have the correct answer.